Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Counter Practice in a video today. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over my strategy and uh, what I look at as a momentum and breakout, supply, demand, trend line, whatever you want to call it. But I mainly am a scalper and a breakout and momentum player. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, You know, I kind of made a video on this last video, but I kind of want to show you all what trades I'm taking and kind of actually show you all in the charts. I actually do have a, a replay of me taking a breakout uh, trade. I'm going to start recording those more and, um, you know, making TikToks out of them and also putting clips into YouTube videos when needed. So, yeah, let's get right into it. I can show you some trades that I actually took today. It is currently 4.17 4, p.m. after hours right now on the market. I'm done trading for the day. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, uh, I think I think this might have been one of my, actually, you I don't think this is one of my first trades, but, um, you know, I set these two lines up. I've seen that this is a potential breakout play. Uh, you know, I set my um, demand zones and I literally just waited for this to break out. You know, I waited for the volume to come in. I also use a momentum and volume scanner. So, you know, I waited for that to come up on there. And this was a beautiful trade, bro. I'm really like uh, my risk to rewards are crazy, bro. Um, you know, I'm risking 2% to make 44%, bro. I mean, excuse me, I'm tired, bro. But yeah, no, nah, um, I always keep, like, especially on breakout plays. I mean, if I go in negative, if I go a uh, negative 2% on a trade, I, I mean, that pretty much tells me that, you know, I'm going to lose that trade regardless and that's going to keep going down. So I keep my mo my losses minimal, especially as a breakout trader. So yeah, I mean, crazy versus rewards right here, man. This is how you stay profitable, bro, really. And uh, this is a 44% winner. This I got stopped out on. Um, uh, you know, I don't even know why I have this all the way up here because I think that was my target. Because you know, this is wait, no, yeah, right here. I'm stupid because this is the previous high, so that's why it was my target. Got stopped out there. Like I'm saying, two percent stop loss on all these, bro. Very, very, very tight stop losses because I'm a breakout player. So, um, here was another really, really, really yeah, nice w. breakout player. Breakout player. I don't know what I'm saying. Breakout play. Um, you know, again, a really small risk to a really big reward. I mean, that's a 16.2 risk to reward. Uh, so yeah, this one played out beautifully as well. Like I said, I'm waiting for that volume to come in, waiting for the confirmation, waiting for those patterns, you know, those, those candlesticks, those patterns, you know, my momentum scanner and just, you know, my indicator on my chart too, for all those confluences to add up, tell me to take the trade, beautiful trade right there. Um, ended up getting stopped out on that one. I'm not gonna say too much. E I think I got ended up ended up getting stopped out on this as well. Um, had a really had a I had a kind of nice uh breakout uh breakout trade here. As you can see, honestly, these are probably I'm, I'm probably just over trading, and that's something I shouldn't be doing. Even those are really small losses. Um, you know, I should not. I still should only be taking quality over quantity trades. So it's something I got to work on. But yeah, this is a really nice, you know, two percent uh, stop loss here. I mean, even this is a four point six seven risk to reward. I mean, it's still a really good risk to reward. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been saying, uh, you know, just waiting for that volume to come in, waiting for that confirmation, and I'm taking that trade, bro. Um, you know, nothing really else really happened with this. Nothing that, uh, you know, I would like to have taken a trade in, obviously, because I'm trading small caps. So in stocks and I can only trade up, you know, I'm not trading fucking puts and calls and all that bullshit. I actually do want to get into that, uh, you know, options and shit. But um, let's stick for stocks for now. Maybe this summer, you know, I'll get started with options. I actually did apply for options and I got approved. So yeah, here's another uh, trade I took today. Um and yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to throw up a clip now of me. I don't know if I already said this. I don't think I did. Um, this is like, I think my third or fourth time recording this or take whatever you're going to call it. But I'm going to throw a clip up right now of me actually getting into a, a very nice breakout. W -A -L. Comes, comes back to down to 305. That's my stop right there. And honestly, I say we're riding this one all the way up here. This isn't like a big risk to reward, but you know, it's still a decent, you know, that's but you know, this is already playing out. Like I said, we got into that break. Easy push up. Another 
Bullshit. Empathy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Holy shit. Yo, bro. Holy God. Wow, what a trade. What a trade. What a catch, man. Crazy, 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 crazy trade. I'm going to be trying to uh, record all of my trades, not only for, you know, content purposes, but also for me. So, like, sorry, let me uh, turn on my scanner. Um, also for me. So, like, you know, if I lose a trade, I can review the trade, see where I went wrong, see, like, see why I lost that trade. If I win, see why I won. And, you know, you know, it's only going to benefit me. You know, it's a win-win. One for content, one for, like, studying the trade. And I'm also also journaling in my journal all day at the end of the day, you know, doing all those things a successful trader does. And here's another beautiful breakout right here. As you can see, like, I love breakouts, bro. I found my strategy. I'm very happy. You know, really, really, really small risk, really big reward. I mean, this is another 15, uh, almost 15 risk to reward, bro. Risking 2% to make 30%. That was a very beautiful trade. I also do use supply and demand, like I said. And I do all buy off trend lines sometimes because, you know, I just very use very simple things, bro. People overcomplicate trading, but, you know, whatever works for you um, works for you. So I got ended up getting stopped out here, probably over trading. Actually, you know what? I want to say over trading because I did think this was going to break out and, um, you know, make new highs here. Maybe, you know, had some uh, volume coming in here some candlesticks but you know you can't win all of them so i'm not tri tripping about that one same thing with this one got stopped out but these are two percent win our two percent losses man very 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 small losses so yeah i kind of went crazy on uh shph today uh i actually did not get it in at this breakout i should have i missed my entry and i also i uh got out at this breakout so um yeah this was a really nice trade too like i'm saying a two percent stop loss for a 35% gain is insane. That's another 16 of risk to reward ratio right there. Um, you know, uh, I also got in for a little scalp here. Another insane risk to reward, bro. I mean, even though these are scalps, these are still insane risk to rewards, bro. Um, I think I ended up, uh, I think I ended up getting stopped out here. Yeah, I actually thought this was gonna go higher, but I ended up getting stopped out there. So that was a really dumb trade. Um, you know, I gotta work on my over trading getting greedy and shit but uh i got another uh another really really good trade here three percent stop loss on this one it actually i don't i don't know why it's three percent but anyway so really good risk to reward right there these are banger 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 trades um i'm gonna start trying to give call out soon like i said record all my videos give evidence you know show my portfolio because i actually want to show evidence that you know i'm profitable and not just bullshitting because i am not bullshitting any of this is your actual trades i took today um, you know, I'm going to be honest, some of these are on my paper trading account because, you know, I am trying to, you know, still learn and I am taking real trades, still taking paper trades, still making still like I'm almost there to trading on my real account. I think the time school gets out, which is in a couple of days, I am going to be going on my real account and, uh, you know, taking real trades. But these are still real trades just on like a paper account. You know what I mean? Like they're still real trades. So. You know, drew this little consolidation box, and this is consolidating there, end up breaking down. I never took a trade there, but, you know, mm, those are, I mean, the, the, dude, I mean, these are insane risk to rewards. These are crazy trades, bro. Um, This one, I don't think, I actually think I ended up getting stopped out twice on L LFCR, so, you know, took two losses there. But, I mean, bro, on an actual account, I did, I think I took two, I took two actual good trades on um CWBR, and I think the other one was on HTCR. I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, those two I actually did take on my real account. Took really nice, two nice wins, and then uh, I just paper traded for the rest of the day. But I killed a paper trading, as you've seen, bro. I mean, some crazy, crazy plays today. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I kind of just want to show you guys what setups I'm looking at. You know, I'm looking at patterns. You know, candlesticks. I'm using an indicator. Um, I also have a momentum and volume scanner, like I said, on my other monitor. I actually do want to add more indicators, but I'm not sure what indicators to add. If y'all let me, if y'all got any like that can help me with breakout, uh, big breakout strategies, let me know in the comments. Um, I have been looking. This one I actually do like, so I'm not I'm not trying to add like too many indicators. Like I like my strategy so far, and you know, with your strategy, you always want to like try not to switch your strategy strategy up too much. You know, stick to one thing, 
and really stay disciplined on on it and i have been doing good recently and as you can see i've been taking some really good trades so far so i mean yeah that's it for today's video um you know i guess you could say this is like really just my trading strategy you know what i'm looking for and stuff like that so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching and peace out